eh, forget it. Let's just do. Let's have Rambo just go back. Well, that's how the, the second movie. When the second movie starts with him in prison, mm-hmm. and then the guy shows up. Like, he's like, "We need you. We need yeah. you, Rambo. And if yeah. you do this, you'll be exonerated." And he's yeah. like, oh. He woke up in a work camp. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing here? You go to Vietnam. Hey. Yeah, I can still rescue people. I'll even take pictures. Take pictures. All right, a rule of three, okay, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make sure you over there. Make sure you're not you're not in the frame. Is anybody Go. got a tripod? <laughs> Maybe a light meter. Okay. What am I working with over here? All right, my aperture is a little bit off. Yeah. Where's my f stop on this thing? This thing's broken. Look All at this. All right, Rambo. So you this, go to Vietnam. There's grass in the autofocus. Here's so your, here's your camera. <laughs> and we don't want you to rescue nobody. Okay. All right, I promise. <laughs> I'm just gonna take some photographs. Some photographs. Of, for I'm not life. gonna fall in love. I'm not gonna not gonna shoot it. I the only trigger I'm gonna press is on the camera. The shutter speed, everything is good. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's, oh, forget dude, it. Again, very underrated. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I've only seen it once. I don't know if it's last really week. That, it, I don't know. If I'm it's a really 43 that years late to the game, but it's it's a it's a good film. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. We can use that. Um, hey, folks. <laughs> you ever, so you've ever played poker before? I don't know what that is. I could see you being a poker player. Um, you played magic. That's kind of like poker. Can you bluff in magic? Yes. Okay. So you, it is like poker. You can bluff. Um, not the same way as poker, because all your cards are showing. Mm-hmm. Except for the one that you might play, because uh, you can put down. Uh, I, I forgot the name of it, but it's like like a flash card or something like that. It's not a flash card, but I like flash. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's basically a card you can play at like an instant. So mm. the the play is out, and then and then the uh, your opponent, um, if you decide to like, yeah, I'm gonna fight, and you you turn your card to fight, uh, they could always like put something down and like kill your favorite character or it's kill like your, uno like this is a it's exactly like this uno. is my wild card yeah i've been sitting on this one i've been holding it yeah. for a long time but um yeah see that's this is nice this is by a, opponent you mean fellow nerd right fellow nerd or nerds plural sure. because yeah, true. You sometimes can't. there's a uh you you play in a large group a certain you can do that nerds. Sure. circle jerk of nerds yeah <laughs> circle of a, jerks circle of jerks that we won't use um <laughs> circle of Jerks. <laughs> Can you play with only one other person? Yeah, oh. most most games are played just one on one. But you know, you go to um, there's a, there's a couple of um, uh, shops in the area, like mm-hmm. card shops. There's one in Glendale. Comic book. Yeah, I mean, there's. I think the, they survived the pandemic. There's there's one on um, Burbank Boulevard. Um, it's called um, it's like Green Lantern Green. Emerald Emerald Knights, that's what it is. Interesting. And it's it's a big shop, and they do they do tournaments there. I've been to one. Most of the time, you know, everyone that plays there is is pretty um, understanding because you you get people of different levels of mm-hmm. skill. And yeah, it's just like poker. Know. And so, I, I do, found do it people to be, wear sunglasses while they play, so you they can't don't. you can't they see don't. their tells. There there are rules. Um, I don't think wearing sunglasses is is a rule or not, but. I think most everybody that that plays there is um, i mean they're just it's a tournament so like if you're not a very good player um the the more respectful players are just like i, I know i'm gonna beat you but i'm <clears throat> i'm gonna be nice about it and maybe sure you know because they, they want you to come back is it and like then play you again is it like pokemon where you can accrue like really strong cards or does it just come down to skill with what everyone has the same cards well it depends on what the tournament is if so there's but you can keep buying new cards right you can that's the whole point like to get more powerful characters so like my knowledge in this is not as extensive as the other people that i was uh, in my friend group when i was playing it but to the best of my knowledge when you go to a certain tournament there are certain decks that are legal and mm. generally speaking 
if you are you're there opening day of like the the new release of some sort of deck you can only play those cards mm. so you you buy those cards you have you can you can buy as many cards as you want but you only have i believe 60 cards that you can play That's and a you, lot. you have to build it but that also includes your what they call mana which is like your your oh, land sure. cards so yeah, yeah you yeah. want to make sure that you have like a good balance of cards and i mean honestly the only it sounds like i mean i very minimally played like final fantasy growing up like one and two mm-hmm. like on the nintendo and this and the super nintendo so it sounds very similar to that mm-hmm. um i don't know did you play any play any rpgs like that um not like final fantasy no i i did um it's not an rpg but it's the um that game missed you remember that? oh yeah yeah that was a great game um, i never played it i mean i didn't own it i had friends that had it so i've played it like that but um i mean i figured that is more as like a puzzle game rather than an rpg mm -hmm. but rpgs i mean to that extent i mean like i suppose you could argue like um uh what do you call it um maybe not um grand theft auto is kind of an rpg in in a sense you know because you're building up skill you're building up your levels right especially san andreas with final fantasy that you had like yeah, a team assembled mm-hmm. you know like mages wizard like warriors all that stuff and then yeah. you had they had their magic and then they had their their strength like the, all the stats that you had you could manage and, and um so that stuff was fun yeah you know it's it's pretty nerdy do you have a deck on you right now i do not can we play no damn maybe later maybe next time okay. maybe we do an entire episode where we just play magic we could try <laughs> Anywho, so you recently texted me that uh, you're like, "Hey, I've been watching this new movie." Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you seen this? I was very uh, excited. Uh, First Blood, Rambo. Or is it Rambo First Blood Part Two? I think I think it's Rambo. Yes. Colon First, First Blood, Blood Part, Part two. two. Right. And you were very excited for this film. So, a little bit of background. Okay. I had never really seen this film before. Right. So, uh, in going through some old VHS cassettes, mm-hmm. I stumbled upon this film, yeah. and I started watching it. And I was very surprised that a I'd never seen this before, and b it seemed so familiar to me because I had seen it before. Mm-hmm. Um, and the mm-hmm. reason I had seen it before is because um, it had been parried, parodied in uh, UHF by right. Weird Al. So, yeah, of course, I was a big fan of that movie. So I always like Rambo. Always kind of lived inside my head. Um, but I had never seen the movies, so um, I watched it, and um, I guess the question is, great film or greatest film is really what it comes down to. You mean of all time? Yes. I would. <laughs> it's, uh, well, there, it, uh, has, it is so ridiculous, and yet it has so much going for it at the same time. Um, no? You don't agree? It's a little, it's a little jingoistic, <laughs> but... Um, well, I, okay, in terms of an action movie, uh, yeah, it's 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 cool. It it gets a little bit. Um, I mean, if you break it down, if 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 you've never seen Rambo, First Blood Part Two, yeah, uh, essentially Rambo is called back to find some uh, Vietnam soldiers missing in action, and um, his. His job is to go in to Vietnam Mm -hmm. and take pictures. That's it. um, And then report back. Um, He instead finds soldiers. Um, He he gets them to the extraction point, Mm -hmm. and then the helicopter leaves. And then he's like, and then he has to defend... um, you know, basically everybody and kills everybody. And, he goes uh, back. He gets another chopper. He falls in love in the meantime. With it, was, it was a bizarre. With the Vietnamese plot. woman. Yeah. Uh, who's yeah. then gunned down with like an anti-aircraft gun. And then he runs over. He's like, you're okay. You're okay. And I was like, she's not okay. <laughs> I do like. 
because you could see this. You got, you she got this gunned this. down. <laughs> and he just runs this. over there like, like there's still a chance. And I was like, there's no chance, bro. What are you doing? You see this in, um, I believe it was uh, Loaded Weapon 1, mm -hmm. when Emilio is gearing up to go out there and in a, uh, a parody of like Rambo putting on the necklace that mm -hmm. he gave her with the little jade mm -hmm. medallion um emilio puts on a pair of pearls <laughs> <laughs> right right wow um, deep cut so yeah it's it's a little bit silly and that thing was it was tight like it was There's, really on his neck. you know what? and it's like the cast is amazing you know the actors better than i do but it's all people i recognize from all the classic 80s films mm -hmm. um every trope is checked off uh he is like just this unstoppable beast with yeah. uh this very dead on moral compass mm -hmm. it's a very pro-america movie we joked about how at the end he's just like i just want the people of this country to love it as much as i do like roll credits like that was it it was just so pro-america and so over the top he's blowing people up with a bow and arrow it's incredible it's like the predator meets sure. like like iron man uh <laughs> goes to vietnam it's just so ridiculous and like the fact that I had never seen it until I'm 43 years old, I was like, "What is this? This is ridiculous." Well, if you were, if you remember, like in the 1980s, you know, there was, um, uh, I think Ronald Reagan had said something about, you know, Rambo. You know, he's using Rambo as like a, like as a, a symbol of American mm -hmm. might and uh, you know strength, and um, it, but but in in juxtaposing First Blood to Rambo two, you're mm -hmm. like, is this the same universe? It's not. It just this is like a, a dark, like psychological, like character study of this guy with this Vietnam vet who comes back and is right. goes on a on a killing spree. You're like, that's interesting. I mean, it's almost to to an idea of first blood being, you know, maybe it's an overused term, but like anti-war. Like mm -hmm. it's it's really trying to show the side of the soldier, the person who's in the battle, who is scarred for life and cannot. Uh, reacclimate themselves back right. into society and just how like other people will see them and like the sheriff well played Brian Dennehy mm -hmm. great actor and just like you you see his point of view but you're just like I don't this is like not going to end well like you know these two conflicting thoughts um, and it ends the way that it does but then it's like eh, forget it let's just do let's have Rambo just go back well, that's how the, the second movie. The, the second movie starts with him in prison, mm -hmm. and then the guy shows up. Like, he's like, "We need you. We need yeah. you, Rambo. And yeah. if you do this, you'll be exonerated." And he's yeah. like, oh. But um, <laughs> I really like Rambo. And here's the thing: I'm not a, a Sly Stan. Like, I never grew up liking any of his movies. Uh, nothing against him. Nothing. Not really? for nothing. What, what has he done that I like? Well, I don't know what he's done, but like nothing. You didn't like it. You didn't like no. Demolition Man, no. Cliffhanger. You nope. didn't like. Uh, any of the Rockies or nope. the Rambos? Nope. What about, um, let's see, what else did he do? Um, Rocky Four was fine. Okay. I don't think I've even seen Rocky One. I've seen Still? Rocky Four. I haven't seen any of the other ones. There's other ones. <laughs> I thought it started with Rocky Four. <laughs> it did, a little bit. And they're like, don't worry about the past. The past is the past. <laughs> um, we live in the now, right? Yeah. I never watched any Stallone films. Honestly, he's just not my, he's not my guy. Cobra? I watched the first 15 minutes okay. in the supermarket, and it was Stop and my mom will shoot? No, I never saw that. Oscar. I was I was more of a throw mama from the train kind of guy. No, come on. No, you weren't. <laughs> I was. You really? Well, I Super mean. Super black comedy like that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, Danny DeVito, right? It is. Yeah. Billy Crystal. Big fan. What's the name of the lady that's in there? Uh, she was from Goonies. She is. What's her name? I don't know. Come on. So you really weren't a Stallone fan? No, never saw wow. uh, other than Rocky IV, which I, I think is pretty decent. Um, I didn't watch any of his films. I was not a Rambo guy. Again, I literally saw part two last week. Um, no, I was never a Stallone guy. But you watched, okay. Uh -huh. You told me earlier you watched Twins. Yes. Yeah. Remember when he goes outside the movie theater and there's Stallone there with his arms and then he's he puts down his suitcase and he's like... He's like, ha, sure. uh, you crazy, crazy. Of no, course. You know. That's a nice little in-joke. Yeah, it is an in-joke. You know, it's a uh, competing, you yeah. know, muscle bound I was guys. an Arnold guy. I've seen every Arnold movie ever made. Come on. It's true. Every, every Arnold well, movie. Well, I mean, not every You mean one, from but... like a, a, okay, 
From Conan uh, till... Uh, Which one? Barbarian or Destroyer? Uh, no, the first one. Actually, Barbarian. Had that on Betamax. You, I know you have it over there. All right, so you, you like Conan. Mm-hmm. You like uh, or Conan. Mm-hmm. You like um, Red Sonia. Sure. You don't even know what that <laughs> is. There is it's, it's, it's some Cold War sh- You like sure? What? It is. It's, it is a sword and sandal epic. Come on. A sword and sandal? You yeah. can't say that anymore. A sword and sandal. That's not That's not politically correct. People have swords. People do have sandals. <laughs> sandals. You put them together, the, the connotations. Okay. I mean, come on. It With is, the crisis of the Middle East right what, now. What is... Okay. What is the? Uh, <laughs> what, is, what is that? That uh, that time period that Sword they sandal. But like your Conan movies, mm-hmm. your your uh, Red Sonia, you know. So well, you keep, had give, his. Give me, give me more. Raw Deal. Sure. Red Heat. Yes. Twins. Absolutely. Predator. Oh, 100 percent. Running Man. Yes. Um. Uh, you're forgetting Total Recall. Uh, well, we haven't gone there you're yet. I'm, I'm still in the 1980s. Uh, last action hero. Everything that's, up to last. Okay, after last action hero. Oh, true lies. True. Oh, I love it. Own Terminator it. Two. Absolutely. Terminator. Absolutely. Hercules in New York. I've seen it out of you know just okay. checking out the irony, but sure. Checking out the irony. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even. He doesn't even talk in that. It's it's all. Uh, he talks in there. I thought it was all it's overdubs. Terrible. No, no. I I think he he does talk in there. Mm. I I have seen a version of him. I thought they got someone it. to do the. The voiceover. They might have done a, a voiceover in, in a certain version, mm. but like, mm. so okay. He was you, way way more my guy. You like Schwarzenegger yeah. more than Stallone? Yes. Okay. He's more versatile, which is weird because he can. I feel like Stallone's even, a better actor. Absolutely. I was gonna say because he, he can't even act, but I, there's something about him. You know what? The thing is, he got better though. Like by the time you got to the twins, he showed that he could at least do some basic comedy. Yeah, I mean, Twins is good. It's funny, but okay, you you've got you've got someone like um, Schwarzenegger, right? Mm-hmm. Um, he's got to be used correctly. Oh, f- sorry, Jingle Com- All the Way, Commando, great film, Commando. That's I've what seen I, Commando. That's what I wanted to say. So you you have a, you have a movies with that's with, what um sorry that's what uh, uh Contra was based off of, Commando Contra yeah but it's a good video movie. game I mean good video game yeah mm-hmm. okay so there's two guys in Contra. Mm-hmm. One was Stallone. On the cover, at least, yeah. No, it's true. That's true. Okay. They didn't have the rights, so they just got, gave one guy dark hair, one guy blonde hair. That's right. That's right. You really didn't like Cliffhanger? I didn't see Cliffhanger. Oh, it's a good movie. Oh, come on. It's great. What, John Lithgow? A movie about the rock climbing? Who cares about rock climbing? John Lithgow is great. It's Die Hard on a Mountain. Well, okay. No, I, it's legitimately so the, good. So is my life. What are you, what are you it saying? Is, I don't understand that. <laughs> It's a very good movie. You haven't gone rock climbing with me. That is true. I don't know how rock climbing and demolition. Demolition Man. How can you not like Demolition Man? I don't think I've seen that. Wow, man. Which one was that about? That's about how he and uh, our our good friend, mm-hmm. uh, Wesley Snipes, sure. plays Simon Phoenix. And there is a, a new... Um, like a uh, prison system, something or other, where they cryogenically yes, yes, freeze yes. you, and then, and then what happens is, Wesley Snipes is is uh, like on parole or something like that. And they thaw him out, sure, and then he is able to escape and wreak havoc on San Angeles of whatever year that it takes place in, in twenty something. This is Grand Theft Auto, and uh, yeah. And then they thaw out Stallone because all the police in the future are not capable of handling a criminal from the 90s. Sounds like Space Cop. So, <laughs> I, I, it's Demolition Man is great. Demo, it's, Haven't seen it. It's it falls. I've apart. heard good things it's, from you. It mainly. definitely falls apart right now. in the third in the third uh, third act. But oh, sure. It's pretty good. Most things do. Just Sandra like Bullock is in there. You know. Uh, Benjamin Bratt, you know, didn't you just bring him up because you watched a Night softcore Shadows, with yeah. him? No, it wasn't softcore. No, 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 <laughs> that wasn't one of the softcores I watched. Okay. Uh, no, Shadow Hunters. Shadow Hunters. He was the bad guy in Shadow Hunters. I will admit, I've never seen that. It's not good. Okay, I won't watch it then. But Demolition Man. But what's is his good. face was good. Which one? You, uh, the, the actor, the uh... Scott Glenn. Yeah, Scott Glenn's great. Scott Glenn's always good. Scott Glenn, you're great. Scott Glenn. Anyway, the point is, yes, Stallone, definitely iconic. Sure, I, I would argue, for sure that 
that uh, Rambo and Rocky Balboa are definitely his like most notable characters. Those are I'm his just, franchises. I'm just surprised that you hadn't seen anything else, you know, beyond that. I didn't like him. I didn't like him. I don't like him. Wow. And I will never like him. You don't even like the Expendables? He seems like a nice guy, though. I never saw the Expendables. Oh, man. What a waste of time. Oh, my God. I mean, one could argue he does. He is part of the Spy Kids franchise, but I never saw that either. Then why would you argue with I don't know. What does that I don't even know. mean? I don't know. So I'm, I'm glad you watched Rambo First Blood Part 2. Yeah. It was a good, um, great film. It's, it's definitely... Uh, Definitely a notable film, big money maker. Oh yeah, back from you know, made over a hundred million. That's a lot of monies back then. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I love how they like created toys for the kids for that movie. I don't remember that either. Very important. Like, who wouldn't want like you know, get the Rambo torture set chamber, you know, or the there's Rambo, a lot of torture in that film. The, uh, a lot. Yeah. That's pretty much the the motivating factor in that film is to not be tortured <laughs> and it, yeah and the, the russians were just like we just want you to call headquarters to gloat that was the whole thing they're like just do it rambo and then they tortured him they shocked him but he wouldn't give in and then they were finally they're gonna stick a knife in his friend's eyes like fine give me the radio <laughs> and then he calls and threatens the guy he says, I'm, the, gonna, is, is he goes, I'm gonna find you and i'm gonna kill you and the russian's like ah! Is that the one where there's like a close up just of like the radio and he's got his hands on the radio? Yes. I'm going to find yeah. you. I'm going to kill you. The Russians torture him for days to get him to call headquarters. He's like, no, I'm not going to call him. They're like, they want to gloat that like we caught your guy. Yeah. And then they, they go to stick a knife in his friend's eye and he's like, okay, give me the radio. And then he calls and he just like threatens his superiors like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to kill does you. Does he kill everybody in that moment? Yeah. And then, no. And then they get out? No, well, um, yes, he kills the the guy torturing him and, the, and a couple of the bodyguards. Mm -hmm. I guess he kills the main Russian guy. Uh, the main Russian guy dies in the helicopter. He's got that gigantic helicopter, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I feel like Rambo only has what, like a Huey or something like that, and and just it's but a, it, but it does have a tank of gasoline is what it is it, it, stripped it, down. It does have it's like a down. mini gun and a ton of rockets on it. Mm -hmm. Did you notice, too, that when he was firing upon the village to kill everybody, uh, they would just reverse shots? They would just, like, switch the... the. Um, That's so 80s. I, I mean, there, are, there is no shortage of explosions in that movie, mm -hmm. but it's like, I mean, come on. I'm gonna there were a lot of... Do. Yeah. Just, you know, and then Rambo flying around. Aah! He's a great helicopter pilot, which I didn't know until I saw this film, yeah. but he is not only, like, the quintessential... Um, special forces guy, mm -hmm. he can fly a helicopter. He can. Yeah. Yeah. And not much of a talker. No. He doesn't have too many lines in this movie. No. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of lines. He does fall in love, and she's gunned down, and he goes just to make sure that she's still alive, but she's not. Yeah. And I think he buries her in the mud. I believe that's a scene. Did you remember at the end when he goes into the uh, the warehouse where the uh, the guy is Charles Napier? Yeah, why they're in a warehouse? That's I don't. The other thing. I don't remember the name of his character, but he goes in there. Nobody cares. Yeah. And he's shooting. He's just like you know, mm -hmm. but he shoots like the coke, the vending machine, mm -hmm. and Charles Napier is like he really hates these cans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, <laughs> you led me down that path. I followed you. Yeah, that's like a Norm Macdonald setup right there. 